we all like this? We always expect love from others. But sometimes we forget to give love. And I mean, give love to everything. To people. To animals. To the nature that is around us. To plant. This plant is living in our apartment. It doesn't really have a smell, it just smells green. But it's been through a lot. When we got ill, I forgot to water it. And then one time, as I was drinking water, I went, I was weak, I went to the kitchen and I poured myself some water and then I looked at the window and by the window was sitting this plant, silent and violent. <laughs> no, 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 silent and sad because it was very thirsty and so I immediately took it and put it in water in the sink I washed it dried it a little bit and of course I watered it and so today I thought why don't we just take care of this lovely plant together with you. So, here I have it in this beautiful white vase. It's a vase in a vase. <laughs> and there's a little one growing over there. So, this one is one and this one is separate. And it grows into a beautiful big plant. And here I have some water in a sprayer from <laughs> it says dream sleep <laughs> body and pillow mist. But the mist is gone. I've used it up and now it has just water in it. So I'm going to spray the plant and I also have some uh, cotton pads to clean it again yeah. alright let me know do you do you take care of plants do you have plants mm. what type of plants do you have my grandmother, both of my grandmothers have actually had plants ever since I remember myself. And one of my grandmothers, see it's clean, nothing is coming out. I'm taking good care of it now. She would also talk to the plants. You could often catch my grandmother the balcony with her plants talking to them. I bet she still does it. And her plants never dried. They were very heavy plants. Very nice. And I think it's a nice energy exchange. See, this leaf got a little too dry in the end. It, it's a little damaged. That's okay. It will be fine. And this one. And then once I told you a story of how we had this, uh, we still have her, a relative. And whenever she came, there was a plant behind her. 
whenever she came to our house, she would take a seat in an armchair that was by the window. And there was a plant. <laughs> I know some of you didn't believe me, but it's just true that every time she came, that plant would get so sad. And it would just wrinkle up and just kind of almost dry. I noticed it after each time she left. There we have Mulik. We have Mulik. She has come here. Because it's just me and her at home today. She wants to steal something. Look at this fish. Look. You have a such a cute face. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. Because it doesn't exist. It's my wolf. This is my wolf. My wolf. My wolfy, my wolfy. Oh, I love her so much. <laughs> and so I started taking the plant away and putting it in another place whenever she came. Or sitting her in another place whenever she came. And the problem was gone. <laughs> you can actually put just a plant under the sink and open the water, in the sink and open the water, and just like that, it will also be clean and nice. Don't do it every day though, once in a while. Mully found something. A carrot. I gave her a carrot, you know when? A long time ago. She probably hid it somewhere. Oh, I don't like these things that they put in jackets. I always cut them because I never use them. I don't like it. <laughs> Alright. I don't know where she hid that carrot. I thought she just ate all of it. And trust me, when you start taking care of plants and animals, something just changes inside of you, you know? And then there are people who just don't love anything. Mm -hmm. They only love themselves. And those people are very dangerous. Sometimes when I'm walking with Muli, there will be someone like, Oh, what is that dog? Dogs shouldn't be on this street. Why do you let your dog walk in the green area? I'm like, a what? <gasps> Poor greens. Why are you letting your dog walk in the park? No, dogs shouldn't be here. I just... I've stopped reacting to such people because they just are sick. And I am not the one that can help them because I would say most of the time, and sometimes they jump away and Muli gets scared and she also jumps away. Or my poor little lady. She's so small. Always love animals. Even when the dogs are aggressive, it's usually because of people. Because they saw aggressive behavior from people. Like there is a dog, a street dog, a stray dog, I guess you could say, in this area. And that dog always, always barks at cars. Most likely because it's been hit by a car or someone from a car. Or sometimes a dog will bark at Muli and people will like take a stone and want to like hit that dog and I always say don't do it. Don't. You know? Just don't. 
Now this, I love this sprayer because this has the effect of a rain as if it rains Muli, let me spray some more here <laughs> Yes, now I like it because there are lots of small little small little, you know, drops on the leaves and I guess we can leave it like this Yeah, Muli, what do you want? Mm -hmm. All right, so now I will just take my plant and put it over here close to me and you know, I want it to color my nails and I have these two nail polishes, one is red one is pink, which one I shall try, I think, the pink one It's so important to love animals and to care for animals and help animals because I was never someone who wanted a dog or a cat but now that I have it I now I under understand that a completely different world and they have all their personalities and have you watched a video of Muli's dramatic story of Muli's adoption and rescue? Watch it if you haven't and oh before I do this you know what I wanted to show you? I want to show you my new phone case this is the best phone case in the world oh my god isn't this fox absolutely cute? I love it. I'm so happy I found it. It's so nice to hold in the hands. I should make one ASMR video just with my phone in my hands so that you can all see it. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's so cute. And on the cover here I have my own uh, picture that one of my very talented subscribers painted I will also make a separate video just dedicated to all the paintings of myself uh, because it's just so beautiful and so unique and I'm just so happy that there have been people who decided to actually draw me or paint me alright, so I'll put it here and let's try to do my nails now I'm not a big master in this because I find that, you know, I'm just not very uh, good at it but at the same time I like, you know, painted nails even though I like unpainted nails too as long as they look nice in general now because I had COVID, I didn't really do my nails my nails are just very short because it just felt so heavy and I just didn't want anything I like even want to cut my hair as soon as possible because I just don't want any additional weight on me and I'm thinking about how short I shall go with my nails you know how short I'll cut a little bit a lot um, I don't know if I want layers or shall I just keep it straight like now I don't know when I was little well my mom never really liked painted nails so she never really painted my nails my grandmother would sometimes paint my nails I would ask her and she would do it of course now there is shellac and I love it if you are someone who does it who refreshes your shellac on time then it's beautiful but if you are like someone who doesn't really have time for it or the means for it 
and your nails grow a lot with your shellac, then probably it's not a good idea for you to try it. And then you have to... So that it dries. I also have um, transparent nail polish that you put on these so that it dries faster. I also always put one layer because I feel that two layers sometimes is just too much and too heavy if I do it if a master does it a nail master then it looks beautiful but if I do it for some reason it just never looks good because I, I don't know how to do it the right way <laughs> but um, what could type of nails do you like long or short? I've had long nails too but I think I kind of prefer medium length or short I don't think I like long nails that much even though they're just more like claws, you know, long nails but I saw Michelle Obama with these claws and I was like hmm a matter of taste because she definitely carried it with grace and uh, I don't know when I was little it just um, was not it was considered tacky now it's popular again <laughs> okay done with this and I can't wait for my nails to actually grow a little bit longer I'm even uh, thinking I will start going to a salon and doing my nails or maybe buying more nail polishes maybe doing a whole video on doing my nails properly not like I just did but I actually properly with all the care and maybe pedicure I closed my foot massage videos I may open the only one the very first one because um, before my channel was very small not that it's huge now but before it was very small and I could make whatever video I want and then the bigger your channel grows the more weird people come to your channel so I kind of like that my channel is small actually it's like a little comfortable corner in the internet and I just appreciate all of you so much that have been with me throughout all this time and I just absolutely um, get so energized when I read your comments and your beautiful words of support and love I just, I don't know, I think I'm so lucky and I also missed so much this whole idea of making uh, videos and connecting with you guys it's also strange because I haven't worn earrings for so long that now that I'm wearing it they feel kind of weird in my ears I already have pretty uh, narrow, pretty small ear holes and when I don't wear earrings for a long time and then I suddenly start wearing them I just feel a little uncomfortable and since I haven't worn <laughs> earrings for a long time because of COVID now it's kind of feeling weird in my ears I don't know why especially this ear hole is strange because I uh, did I tell you the dramatic story of how my ears got pierced? <laughs> they got pierced twice I think I told that story during one of my live streams but that's such a funny story guys it d deserves its own video by the way I really love these earrings I should make a video about my jewelry I have some really beautiful jewelry and just but for that I need my nails to grow so that they look beautiful you know 
on your screens because I have a lot of beautiful earrings, necklaces, some bracelets, a special brand that is called, I will show you, I forgot what was the name here Florence Florence I remember so I have uh, quite a few items from Florence let me see what uh, country makes these some European country let's see Florence Flor it's, it's French probably because it's a commune in France Florence jewelry fashion jewelry yes it's, uh, it uh, used to be big but they uh, sold um, their brand to a Russian brand Faberlic yes they have some beautiful, beautiful items. Really gorgeous. Love it. I will put it back into here. They're very comfortable earrings, but for some reason everything has become so sensitive now and my holes uh, are so, have become so narrow and so small that my favorite earrings today as I decided to film, I have a very loved earrings uh, they are silver I appeared in them in several videos they did not fit like this ear I the one that fit and this ear it would just not get in and these are my favorite silver earrings and I couldn't put it into my ear so I have to start wearing earrings again so that my holes get a little like large stretched and saw that earrings fit in there well I hope that this evening will be very bright for you very kind to you and full of love and care I hope that it will also be very very oops very very sweet like the milk chocolate by Alpen Gold that's completely gone. There's one, two, three. There are only three little cubes left on the inside because I ate, finished everything. I just missed also chocolate because during COVID I didn't really have any appetite so much mm. oh, I told you yes I lost weight so I've been eating this chocolate I need to make my chocolate cake again the pie by my mom's recipe I need to get some of these and maybe one with nuts yeah and make that pie and maybe share with you but this time not live but in an actual video or live again I don't know I haven't had a proper pie or cake ever since I recovered I had a pie and a cake from the supermarket but it wasn't so tasty mm, even from a specialty store like a bakery it wasn't as good as homemade so I want homemade I should tell my mom to make me some to bake me some which is your favorite Alpingold flavor? Do you like Alpingold? Which one is your favorite? I like this one. There's also one with raisins uh, in a purple uh, packaging. I like that one too. <laughs> and of course, I uh, was asked by you to share more products by Limoni. Uh, as I shared it in one of my videos, maybe previous video and um, yes, I will share with you the things that I got and the things that I really loved uh, also, I forgot to leave the links 
on that video and in my next video I will also show you the links and leave you the links I have the eye patches from them um, beautiful blusher and uh, I had